Uh, hello there, uh, my name is Richard Pino. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Mathematics uh, at Wayne State University. I've been uh, nominated for the President's Award in Teaching, but I've also heard that I'm supposed to be not renewed this year because my, my contract is up. I got the President Award for Excellence in Teaching in 2019. I love my job. Students are constantly expressing their appreciation for my teaching excellence. And yet, to the college, I am disposable. I am just an expired jug of knowledge. I was told when I came up here, you know, commitment, the university paid $10,000 to move me up, so I thought they were committed to me. Um, and, you know, so it's frustrating. Um, you know, the department is fantastic. That is why I came to Wayne. When I came to Wayne State, the department made me feel at home. I felt at home. I was like, this is where I can be for 20 years. The people in the chemistry department are amazing. It's a great place to work. But I got my next non-renewal letter. My name is Dr. Kathy Elric, and it's addressed to Miss Elric. You'd think in an academic setting, they might call me Dr. Corgan-Salter. Dear Mr. Corgan-Salter. Uh, our records indicate that your appointment terminates on August 17th, 2021. In accordance with university statutes, university policies and procedures, and the WSU AAUP AFT agreement. And it's my responsibility. Well, it's just they had to do it. My responsibility to inform you at this time that your appointment will not be renewed. Sincerely, Hong Wong Lee, Chair of the Department of Mathematics, and Stephanie Hartwell. Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. That's it. It's not a teaching award, which maybe I'll be getting next month. I've at least been nominated for it, so I feel pretty excited about that, but uh, not so excited about this. So I will not be renewed next year. You know, I have a baby on the way, and I'm just buying my first house, and, and on top of all that, you know, I get this in the mail, and it just makes me, it makes it very difficult to keep working and caring with the same sort of passion and fervor that I had when I first started here. Um, it makes it hard for me to not think about this with every email that I send, with every student question that I answer, and with every situation, you know, that I'm trying to deal with here at home. But I also understand that this is unnecessary, and it's a waste of time and money, and it also produces a lot of ill will. You know, this, this just feels like getting Wayne stated. Um, I am making a commitment to you at Wayne State. I am teaching over a thousand students in the fall, as far as the, based on what my projections are. You need me to teach those thousand students, but you can't even budget to figure out, you know, that I'm going to be back. You know, I've been told, oh, you're going to be back, but. You know, it's still up in the air. You could still at the last minute say, no, sorry. And then I'm left with not being able to have a job, have a house, no job. Um, that's what we want as faculty. We are faculty. We are part of Wayne State. We are the backbone. We teach a lot of the students. It makes me, first of all, feel completely worthless and unappreciated. As if my students' enthusiastic reports uh, about my dedication and love for my subject and teaching don't count anything and they have no value whatsoever for this university. I think it's demeaning, humiliating and demoralizing. So to be told that I'm, you know, done is, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, it's very interesting because I serve on a great many committees. Um, there was a colleague who told me that I'm in every corner of student success, um, a member of the Academic Senate. Um, I'm a member of the Wayne State University Academy of Teachers, which is a highly recognized group of faculty based on their uh, teaching efforts. And this, um, this particular year, I'm up for the President's Award for Excellence in Teaching, um, along with the General Education Teaching Award. So this is an absolute uh, shock to, to get this sort of a letter. I'm getting treated this way makes me feel like my work at Wayne State isn't very valued. And uh, I know I have a lot of great people in my department and elsewhere at the university, but uh, this is hurt. And uh, quite frankly, I'm not looking for another job, but if one came up, something like this would be a big incentive to take it. And that does make me feel a little bit uneasy. That does stress me out. I don't really know what the future uh, has to bring. 
I expect that I'll be teaching again next fall. I mean, that's kind of what they say that's going to happen, but uh, it does make me a little bit nervous that if, if things go the wrong way, they'll drop me like a bad habit. And I've given seven years to Wayne State because I love teaching there. Um, and, it, and it feels really unfortunate that the same thing is not happening here. Thank you so much for being here for all of us who have gotten these nasty little letters of non-renewal that have nothing to do with our teaching, our community service, our scholarship, or who we are as individuals, even though they hit us hard and they make us cry. Um, and I have to tell myself, no, you are excellent. Um, this does not reflect that. Is this, is this how we treat people that we're trying to care for, that we're trying to support, that we're trying to um, empower to support others. I, I don't think that's the way to do it. We help educate these freshmen and sophomore and retain them at Wayne. We made that commitment. That's all we want back is a commitment from you. And that's why we want security, why we deserve security. And why, even though we get these and my first thought was just to accept it. We can't really accept these. We cannot accept this as a viable way going forward.